Okay, how about this one? Last one for the spherical section. Did you notice that it's spherical? All right, you see these shaded? You see this 40 degrees right here? Um, all right, anyway, this one we want to find the resultant of the two forces. Uh, so this one is kind of already written in its IJK form. It's just negative 130 in the K. Uh, so let's find this 80. Let's write it in IJK form. It is spherical. So when it's spherical, I'm thinking I'm going to break it up into its Z and XY and break the XY into FX and FY. So first I look at this triangle right here. Right, I look at that triangle. It's a 2D triangle. It's a right triangle with a 30 degree angle. And so I say if this is 80, uh, then this component would be 80 sine 30. This component would be 80 cosine 30, right? That, that's what I'm talking about with this two dimensional problem right here. So uh, F, right here, let me write it in black. Uh, F, the XY component would be 80 cosine 30. That would be 69. 0.23. The Z component would be 80 sine 30. That would be 40. All right. Now, so I'll take this 69. This is 69.23. And now I'm going to look at this triangle right here, right? This would be 69.23 uh, cosine 40 and 69.23 sine 40. All right. So the uh, x component, 69.23 cosine 40, uh, is 53.07. And the y component, 69.23 sine 40, this would be 44.53. Uh, but... Um, I've got to put in my own negatives if it is in a negative direction. All right. Let me just th th erase all this and just, can you tell me what components are going to be positive, what components are going to be negative? This is coming out here. So it's going to be the positive X, uh, but it's not to the right here. It's to the left here, right? This is going to be negative Y. That should be a negative 44.53. Did you see that? Whereas this is, should be a positive 53 and this should be a positive 40. So my force one, and just my force one, not my resultant. I'm not adding this quite yet, but my force one, the X component, 53.07 in the I, uh, minus, sorry, minus 44.53 in the J, and then plus 40 in the K. All right, so that's that vector. F2 is already uh, just negative 130 in the K. So now when I add those together, uh, only add the I's together, 53.07 in the I. Only add the J's together, 44.53 in the J. Only add the K's together. Now I can add those, negative 90 in the K. That is the answer. Box that in to the first step, the first half of this problem. All right, that is the resultant of the two forces expressed as a Cartesian vector. Now, calculate this one's coordinate direction angle. So what do I do for coordinate direction angles? And maybe I should write this as R. That's not F1. That is the resultant. All right. Uh, well, F equals FU, or in this case, maybe R equals RU. Uh, I've got the R right here. Do I have this? Well, almost. Um, it's not 80 because I added this 130. It's not 80 plus 130. It is the magnitude of these. It is 53.07 squared, 44.53 squared, 90 squared. Don't forget to take the square root. The magnitude is 113.6. The magnitude is 113.6. So now um, I'm going to step, skip a little bit of steps. We've, we've done this so many times. I think you're a, a pro at this. Uh, but finding the coordinate direction angles, R equals RU, uh, this would be 53.07 on the left-hand side for I, equals 113.6 cosine alpha. Uh, negative 44.53 equals 113.6 cosine beta, and negative 90 equals 113.6 cosine gamma, and get alpha, beta, gamma, 
uh, 62.1, 113.1, 142.1, 142.4 degrees. Those are your answers. Now remember, um, positive components should be acute angles and negative components should be obtuse angles. Also, the closer it is to 90 degrees, the, the smaller the component, or let me say that backwards, the smaller the component, the closer your chord direction angle should be to 90 degrees. Going all the way down to zero, if, if your component is zero, very, very, very small zero, then your corner direction angle should be 90 degrees. Uh, so anyway, does it make sense that this 90 would be an angle away from 90 degrees, right, 142.3 compared to the 113.1 closer to 90 degrees? So there's a few things you can do, which we kind of mentioned, uh, to double check or just to make sure that those corner direction angles make sense. All right, so that's spherical angles. Recognize they're spherical and then use this process and give them your own positives and negatives. Uh, if it is, you know, if it's a negative component, give that negative component yourself. All right, write that in yourself, okay?